this tutorial is for developers who are brand new to Uniswap v3. I'll show you how to get a Uniswap v3 pool address in two different ways. You'll need this for just about everything when writing code to interact with Uniswap, and hopefully I'll save you the time of figuring it out yourself. Let's go. I have a mostly empty project set up here with some packages installed. I have Uniswap's v3 core, and I have Ethers.js, and specifically this is Ethers.js 6. If you're using 5 or an earlier version, then some of the syntax is not going to work for you. We only need two imports to make this work. Firstly, Ethers.js for making a connection to the blockchain, and secondly, Uniswap v3's factory ABI. And ABI means Application Binary Interface, which details the methods that a contract has. We'll be using Uniswap's v3 factory contract to look up pool addresses. Next, you'll need an infura URL. You can get your own by creating an account on infura or use another node provider's URL, but you'll need your own. This one is fake, and I'm going to swap it out in private before we run this code. Now with your infura URL, create a provider to interact with the blockchain. And you would need to do this to interact with any contract on Ethereum. Now we'll need three addresses. Firstly, the address of Uniswap v3's factory contract, where it's deployed. And there's a handy page here in the Uniswap documentation called Uniswap Contract Deployments. And it lists the addresses where all the Uniswap contracts are deployed. Copy that factory contract and paste it into your file. Now we'll need the addresses of the two tokens in the pool. I'm going to use wrapped ether and USDC. I found these addresses by searching those tokens on Etherscan. Now we initialize the factory. And we pass in three arguments, the factory address, the factory ABI, and the provider. And this is the contract, not the address. And on that contract, we call get pool. We pass in the addresses of our two tokens and a fee. I'll pass in 500 for the fee, but you could pass in one of the other values. Depending on the pool address that you want to get, there will be one deployed pool for each of the fees for each pair of tokens. and then I'll log the result. And if we run this, we get the address of that contract. And if we change the fee, we would get a different address because there's a different pool for each fee. Now that's the first way to get a pool address, and that will work for a mainnet or a testnet. The second way will only work for mainnet. Go to info.uniswap.org, click on pools, click on the search bar, and you can literally search the pool that you want to look up. This is the 500 fee tier pool of USDC and wrapped ether. It shows ETH in its place when using info.uniswap. And this is the same address up here that we looked up with code. Check out some of my other Uniswap videos if you want to learn more about mastering Uniswap v3. Give this video a like and subscribe if you found it helpful, and I'll see you next time.